A constitution to protect their elected representatives from unauthorized recalls and attempts to take over the party has been declared by the Opposition Citizens Coalition for Change CCC. Senjizo Chibangu, the self-appointed party secretary general, has called for the recall of 15 CCC parliamentarians and 17 council members. This development comes after by-elections that are set for December 9. Chibangu also wrote to Winston Chitando, the Minister of Local Government, on Wednesday, stating that he intended to recall 67 additional CCC council members, including Deputy Mayor Kudzai Kadzam and Mayor Ian Mack one of Harare. For similar reasons, Winston Chitando, a Minister of Local Government, has asserted that he has not yet read Shibanga's letter. CCC spokesman Gif Saziba told Newsday that Nelson Chamisa, the party's leader, has taken action to prevent Shibanga and his allies from seizing control of the organization. Contrary to what some have claimed, the CCC has a constitution, which it has presented to the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission ZC and the Justice Ministry, among other authorities, to confirm the party's legitimacy. Siziba clarified this. Siziba underlined that the CCC had held off on releasing the constitution because of worries about attempts to take over the party. In addition, he said that since Chibangu's bogus claim to be the CCC interim secretary general is unconstitutional, the party's founding constitution would be challenged in the high court. Though Chibangu's spokesperson, Kalafani Fujini, advocated for dialogue as the way ahead, the CCC accused Chibangu of being a ZANU-PF proxy. Fujini highlighted the need of positive communication inside the party and voiced optimism in winning back seats in the by-elections pointing out that they made the recalls in CCC strongholds. Similarly, Chibangu's supporter and former MDCT MP Kakaka Fulu, a lawyer, emphasized the importance of communication in resolving internal disputes. The CCC requested permission to allow its recalled members to submit their nomination papers for the next by-elections in a high court application, which was filed by the party's attorney, Obey Shaba. In addition, the CCC asked the court to stop Shibangu from recalling other members. ZANU-PF has disassociated itself from the CCC's internal affairs. The continuous conflict between the CCC factions serves as a reminder of the significance of efficient internal management in an organization as well as the possible negative effects of internal divides. In order to preserve the integrity of the opposition party and defend their elected officials, the CCC seeks to resolve these issues through negotiation and the legal system.